So this is the new version of Fred, Fred5.net. What you'll notice if you if you look at the top of the screen, we have a horizontal menu bar where all of the options now reside, and this drops down into a ribbon control. So all of the options relating to maintenance or gross tear or stock are all displayed beneath the main item. What we'll do first of all is we'll add an account. With the account function, what we've decided to do is do away with the having to go into purchase or sales. You just go into account and, and, and begin the ad process. So within here, we can do a postcode lookup. We can select whether this account is going to be used for invoicing, used for self-billing, used to process deliveries to, and used for collection. If we wanted a separate invoicing address, we would just take the tick off and then we can go and fill in the separate invoicing address. In this occasion, we're just going to keep it standard so we're buying and selling from Hadrian Engineering. We have the option of recording bank details as well. Moving on to the Collection Delivery Addresses tab. Within this tab, you're able to add additional delivery or collection addresses. We'll do a postcode lookup and create a new site. Okay, one of the things that we'll want to do here is we'll want to add some containers onto this site. So let's go and add a container. So this site has a 40 yard skip and we're saying that we have a rental charge of £150 per week. Okay, what we'll also want to do is we'll want to put a grade of material on here and there could be multiples but we'll just put one on for the moment. So we're saying this is light iron. You can say that you're going to pay them for this material if you want or you can put the price in for this later on. We'll just leave it blank for the moment. So we can then add value to this by putting haulage charges, collection charges. So we'll add a charge when we collect this particular skip type. We'll make it a once per visit and it's £100 for one unit collected. So we may wish to put a regular schedule onto this account. So as we go across to their address, the system already lets us know that they have one particular type with particular material in it. So let's drag that across and create a schedule and we'll make this a weekly collection on a Thursday. Let's make this so that the collection is due to happen between 9 and 12. You can add a specific vehicle if you want that to be uh, able to do that job. Moving on to the contacts tab. Within here, you can set up multiple contacts for each uh, branch. What a handsome man. And we can add an email address and additional phone numbers as well if required. So, in the notes section, we can then add dated uh, notes onto the system. So, we'll give this a title. So, you can add as many of these onto the account as, as necessary. If we move on to the attachments tab, within here you can attach documents, scans, anything that you can think of really. So, double clicking on, on something that you've attached will then open it up convenient way of centralizing all of the documents that you want attached to a customer. Moving on to the contracts tab. What we've done here just to show how the, the contracts work is on the left hand side you'll see that we already have some contracts on the system and you can see that they're split into two separate ways. So we have at the moment we have quotes at the top because this is a new feature within the system. You can put a quote under the system that's not actually a contract yet and then you have the contract itself which is a, an accepted contract. 
So we can filter this list if you want on the left hand side to just show a particular direction. So we could have a look at just the inwards contracts and then we could say we only want to look at the accepted ones as well. So clicking on a contract on the left hand side if we go to one of the accepted ones on an inwards will show you the details on the right hand side. The new contracts within FRED5, you can have multiple lines per contract. So let's add a line onto this particular contract and just say that we want to add light iron in here. And we're going to put a collected price on that of 115 and a delivered price of 135. This is an inwards contract. We're not going to say that it's for a particular quantity, although we could, and then you can exhaustively allocate against the contract. So we could say that this was for 20 tonnes and allocate downwards from there. Uh, you can add haulage onto the contract too. So we've said that that's by load of £350 per load, and we'll OK that. So that line is now added onto an existing contract. So if we wanted to create a new contract, we'd literally just c click on Create Contract down at the bottom of the left hand side. So this is the new gross tear module. Uh, as you can see it's quite a bit different to the previous one so let's just give a little bit of uh, navigation around the screen. On the left hand side would be your traditional gross tear screen with all of the movements um, and this is the first change inward and outward on the same screen. So what we can do is if you look at the top where we have inwards, outwards, haulage, we've actually defined the, um, the movements and the actual transaction types as well. So you can say that on a waste transaction inwards that the material is actually going to come into the yard, but the financial transaction there would be to charge, which is opposed to normally what would happen on an inwards. So you can set all of that up. On the right hand side you'll see the collections which is a new feature certainly for standard FRED users. This comes from our schedule system module and if you remember when we created an account we were saying that we might have a, a collection at Hadrian Engineering every Thursday and this would appear in this list every Thursday for you to then produce paperwork for your driver to take out. In the bottom section where we have deliveries that gives you the ability to book pre-book a delivery onto the system so that when that delivery comes in we would then drag it across and make that into a current ticket. If the deliveries and collections aren't to your taste then if you were to just drag across right to the end then obviously your screen would then just become standard gross tear inwards and outwards and, and they're all coloured so you can see which is an in and out. So let's start off a new ticket just using standard gross tear. We'll do a material inwards. Okay, so a lot to get through here. We've got multiple ways that we can um, start populating this form. The first one is that we could use the uh, ANPR enabled camera, which can then be pointing at your vehicle on the way bridge, and we'll simply go grab the vehicle. If it's known to us already, it'll populate the uh, name and address control and start off a ticket. So at that point, we could then just select a particular grade of material, Lovely, and then we click on the gross weight. If you have the Waybridge enabled, we can get that from the Waybridge. We can then save the transaction. Very simple. That's your inward captured. So if we do a, a, an alternate lookup, which is let's do a brand new one. Let's do a material inwards. And let's put a registration in that we think isn't in the database. So let's look up the detail of this using the postcode facility. Okay, so we can put in the name at this point, or we can come back and do this later, but let's put it in for the moment. And again, let's move straight to a weight. We'll leave out the product this time. Grab the weight, save the ticket, he's in the yard and he's unloading. If you want to bring the ticket back for editing purposes, to put a tear weight on and, and put the grade in. Get the tear weight, grade the ticket, 
Let's say light iron again. Seems to be one of our favourites. Let's also put a price on, on for this ticket. You'll then see that the self-bill option has now become live because we have a value against the transaction, so we can just self-bill this one. We can select a method of payment, so let's go cash. And there's other details that we can fill in here, so we can ask the customer to sign this if we want. So using a signature pad. And then we just move on to complete the ticket. The signature is digitally captured against the ticket and can be replicated on a reprint. Just a couple of more things to mention before we move on. Uh, if we go into uh, an outward ticket, at the foot of the screen you'll see that we have several tabs, the customer signature, Weybridge and shipping. If we go into the shipping tab, within here we're able to store multiple instances of trailer numbers, seal numbers and container numbers commonly used in export. So if we click on the line details we can see there that we have an attachments function. Job done. So the next stage would be to have a look in consolidation, which is where all of the tickets that you've accepted within Gross Tear will be stored. So if we pick an account, The first thing to note within this version of consolidation is that we're looking at just the purchase transactions here and given that we can have an account that can buy and sell from, if you look towards the top of the screen we have the ability to change between purchase and sales. Let's deal with the purchase side. So what we've decided to do is do away with the separate inquiry and mark entries function and just combine everything into one screen. At the top row of the inquiry, you'll see that we have the ability to filter the data by putting in some criteria. So if you just put in here that you wanted to see light iron as a code, obviously the list is then filtered down. And then going back to the standard list, we could do it within the status, for example, and just say we only wanted to look at tickets which were priced. You'll also notice that as you click on the transactions, the details at the bottom of the screen change relative to the one that you're on. And then you can look at the individual tabs for additional information. You can edit a ticket by right-clicking. So let's go back to the sales side. Let's right-click on a ticket and go to edit. So within here we can change details about the ticket, about its site and lines, etc. What I wanted to focus on was just the invoice deduction, just for a moment. If you wanted to put a, a number of kilos in as an invoice deduction, you would put it in, in this box. That won't affect the stock, but will affect the invoice. We also have the has inline deduction box, and what you can then do is, is put through a separate deduction, which will affect the stock. So, deductions can be done in both ways. Okay, let's close that ticket. Let's go back to the purchase. So if we were going to mark up some items to self-bill or receive a supplier's invoice against, all we would do is, in the right-hand column, go and mark the individual transactions that we wanted. This will build up a picture of the ticket so far. We then go to process and tell the system what it is that we want to do. So on this screen, we're literally telling the system how we're going to pay this item and put any additional information on. And OK. There are a lot more features to consolidation, but I think as a quick run through that gives us a flavour of, of how we're going to be doing things. So I think that that concludes our presentation, so thank you very much indeed for watching. So if you want to get in touch with me, it's Phil Short on 0191 477 or phil at increase.co.uk or you can have a look at the website which is www.increase.co.uk or the FRED5 website, which is dedicated to this particular product, is www.fred5.net. Thank you.